who hire someone undocumented. Hospitals are involved also by collecting data on patients' immigration status. Representative Toby Oberdorf says the legislation is the right move for Florida. We are seeing an unprecedented flood of illegal immigration into the United States. Florida, unfortunately, has to take a stand that the federal government just will not do. Oberdorf doesn't think the new law will hurt Florida's economy. There were some people in this in this state that were taking advantage of the situation and the illegal immigration situation where they would employ illegal aliens and therefore would not employ legal aliens, um, legal immigrants, excuse me, or uh, legal citizens of Florida. Immigration attorney Renata Castro questions if the governor's reform will hold up in the courts. He's trying to enforce immigration law when his office does not have jurisdiction to do so. Castro says there's no question the immigration reform will have an economic impact. Yeah. It doesn't seem to me that the law that he designed to keep migrants away will allow to keep to keep his base or large employers in the state of Florida immune to the already critical labor shortage that we have right now. That new controversial law is expected to go into effect July 1st. In Palm Beach County, Todd Wilson, WPTV News Channel 5.